Hey, welcome back everyone, Mean Poo here, and today I'm going to share with you some helpful tips for the Acer Nitro 5. Some of these will work with other machines, so feel free to try. Hopefully the tips will make playing games a little bit more enjoyable. Tip number one. A lot of problems can be alleviated by doing this one thing. Update your drivers. If using an NVIDIA variant of the Acer Nitro 5, locate the NVIDIA Experience application. You can do this by either searching in the search bar, locating in your start menu, or on your desktop. When you open the application, navigate to the Drivers tab at the top to the right of the Home tab. Once you click it, the application will let you know if you are current or if a new driver is available. So have at it. Tip number two. Have you ever wanted to squeeze just a little bit more gaming out of your machine while running on a battery? Well, if you are using an NVIDIA variant of the Acer Nitro 5, we might be able to help you do that. Since we are still in the NVIDIA Experience app, head on to the right side of the screen and click the gray cog beside your username. Next, click the Games button on the left side of the screen. You will now see the Battery Boost feature on the right side. <laughs> it's like we're watching a tennis match, right? But anyway, toggle the switch to the right of the Battery Boost text and it will turn green. There is a slider that you can adjust to cap your FPS to 30 or run full speed at 60 while using the battery. Keeping the slider to the right will certainly drain your battery fast, so move it to the left as far as it will go. Another thing you can try is lower the brightness of your screen. That would help out a bit as well. Tip number three. I know you've seen it, and I know you've heard it, and I know you felt it on the keyboard. What I'm talking about is the high CPU temperature and the fans that are trying to bring it down. This next tip is a do it your own risk type of thing, but what I've read and experienced, you should be safe. Just don't, you know, do anything stupid like undervote your machine and then cover it up with a pillow. <laughs> That's just plain stupid and probably burn out your machine. But anyway, the Intel Extreme uh, Tuning Utility works wonders for this machine by reducing the temperature of the CPU by five to 10 degrees. That's wonderful. First, head on over to intel.com. Click the magnifying glass icon on the top right and type XTU. When the title Intel Extreme Tuning Utility pops up, click it and then head to the download page and download. Install the software using the Setup EXE. Open up the application and you will be presented with the main menu showing your specs. In the left hand menu, click the tab that says Core. You should get a warning, so go ahead and read it. If you're okay with what you're doing, proceed to locate the slider core voltage offset. We want to adjust the slide into the negative. So move the slider left until the values read negative.050. This is a safe number, so click apply on the right side. You should see your values highlight in yellow on the right window pane. To test this, have a look at the graphs at the bottom of the screen. Move on to your favorite stress test and run that to see if your machine is stable. You can try a real game or you can run the benchmarking or stress test software that's built into the Intel Extreme Tuning Utility. It's located on the left side of the screen. You can run the test as long as you want, but I let it run for about 10 minutes or so. If the machine is stable, return to the core tab and adjust further. Every machine will be different. So one person settings might not be stable for you. The machine that I use is stable at negative dot one two zero. If your system becomes unstable, it will probably freeze and possibly reboot. Just use a previous setting and try to make small increments when adjusting. This tip is by far the best thing you can do for the CPU besides adding new thermal compound. Tip number four. Acer Cool Boost. The Cool Boost application is designed to improve system cooling by increasing the fan speed during heavy use. You can enable this by pressing the Windows key and the Q key to access the search charm. Type Quick Access and press Enter. Select the Acer Quick Access. Now toggle the Cool Boost selector to the right to enable. The fans will now spin up quicker but along with this comes loud noise. I really don't hear mine because I'm using headphones, okay? 
So that's a trade-off for trying to lower your temperature. Tip number five. This will cost some extra money, but adding an extra eight gigs of RAM can greatly improve the way some games perform. Your computer's system memory is made up of physical memory. It's called random access memory, or RAM, and virtual memory. System memory is not permanent storage, like a hard disk drive that saves its contents when you turn off your system. When you start a program, your processor gives a command to retrieve the program from the hard drive. Once the files are retrieved, the system needs a workspace to manipulate the data and allow you to interact with it. This digital countertop is your RAM. Your system places your programs in RAM or the digital countertop temporarily while you're working with them so that the processor can access that information faster and more easily. So in a nutshell, generally the more RAM your system has, the larger the digital countertop you have to work with and the faster your programs will run. If your system is running slowly due to the lack of RAM, you might be tempted to increase virtual memory because it's less expensive. However, adding RAM is a better solution because the processor can read data from RAM much faster than from a hard drive. I have a video on RAM installation, so if you want to check it out, head to the bottom of the screen in the comments section. If you're like me, you picked up the version that had a limited amount of space on the hard drive. 256 gigs is not enough for a gamer. Three to four games could fill this up easily. To remedy this, it's a good idea to add more storage to the internal bay located on the underside of the Acer Nitro 5. You can find drives as cheap as $50. Benefits of doing this, of course, is more space, more room for games, and a place to add a full backup of your main drive if you choose to do so. I chose to use my main drive for important applications and the operating system itself. All other things are installed on the extra internal drive and it's been wonderful. I also have a video on the installation process that you can check out. It's below in the description area. Tip number six. So you're playing a game and you want to try out a new resolution to see if you can get some more performance out of it. You head to the settings inside the game and then the optimal resolution notification keeps popping up and kicks you out of the game. This can be so annoying. There are many things you could try that disables Windows notifications throughout your Windows 10 installation, but we don't want to do that. Here's an easier trick. And pay, it's not even a trick. On your Windows desktop, click the Show Hidden Icon button. On the bottom right, it looks like a chevron or a rooftop. Click the Intel Graphics Settings. The Intel HD Graphics Control Panel will now be open. Click the Preference button on the left side. Navigate to the Balloon Notifications and click Disable. Now you will be able to choose a different resolution without the annoying pop-up. Tip number seven. If you purchase a game and it looks like this, or you feel that it's not using your accelerated graphics card, you can try this. Head to the bottom of your desktop and click the hidden icon button again. Right click on NVIDIA settings and choose NVIDIA control panel. In the left pane, navigate to manage 3D settings. Click the program settings tab. Select your game from the drop down or add it manually. When your game EXE is loaded, move to number two and force it to use high performance NVIDIA processor. Hopefully, this will help your game work correctly. If you have a desktop, you may not have this option. Tip number eight. Lastly, if you're the type of person that does not have time to adjust sliders in the settings tab of a game and you just want to play the game at its optimal, I think this may have you covered. Open up GeForce Experience and click the home button. There you will see a list of your games. Select the game that you want to optimize. You will then see the settings that the app has selected to run optimal on your system. If you agree, click optimize. If you don't like the setting after it has been implemented, you can just hit revert. Wrapping up, these are all the enhancements I have used with my machine. I hope that you have enjoyed the video 
and that you find some of them useful. This is Mean Poo, and I hope to see you in the next one. Mean Poo, out.